The worst flooding in more than a century is also ravaging Russia's Far East, with water levels at some reservoirs reaching historic highs. The Amur River, which divides Russia and China, rose 17 centimeters in just a single day. Its water level now stands at 6.57 meters, threatening thousands of homes and residents. Miranda Lin has more. There's water, water everywhere. Russia's far east Amur region has been hit by a month of heavy rainfall. The Amur River's banks have burst due to the onslaught of rain, submerging over one million square kilometers of land. The disaster has been a blow to the area's economy. With 400,000 acres of land flooded, the potential losses are estimated at up to 2 billion rubles, or 60 million U.S. dollars. Or the arable land has been flooded. Tomatoes, potatoes, there's nothing left. Tomorrow we have to prepare as much animal feed as possible, so the livestock has something to eat. But the local government has bigger worries than just the livestock. It's impossible to live here now. My kitchen is flooded and I have nothing to eat. The floods are currently affecting over 30,000 locals and 17,000 residents have already left the area because of the disaster. The floodwaters are expected to continue rising even further, which could force up to 100,000 residents to evacuate. The army and emergency workers have set up 166 temporary shelters in the region, providing drinking water, hot food, and medical supplies. But Russia's meteorology monitoring service says the floods aren't set to stop until the beginning of September. That means the worst could still be yet to come. Miranda Lin, CCTV.